Today is Thursday, March 21, 2019, Pakarunga, New Zealand. Park Pakarunga is a suburb on the eastern part of Auckland. And Thursday is the day where the garbage truck comes to clear the beans. As you can see, it's automated. Not like Singapore where you get manpower to come and pick up the beans and throw in, empty the garbage trucks. Here you can see it's automated. And it, it's every Thursday, residents put put the beans in order to get the rubbish cleared. If not, there'll be another week of smelly stuff inside your bin. And uh, this is an area of near the Pakaruna Road. Howick and Hamir. And it is a residential area most favored by the Chinese migrants. They like to live together and uh, the roads are very wide and clean. I'm having a morning walk. It's about 9.30 to 10 a.m. It's autumn in New Zealand. You can see the various colors. This particular tree seems to have yellow and green leaves. Very attractive in the bright morning light. People are walking either to work or to the office. And uh, you can see some bamboo trees here. So it's more like a Chinese neighborhood. Some are doing restaurants, some are doing uh, buying small businesses like motels or shops. As the migrants usually are not sell are not employed. The older migrants, the, the new generation will be in school and they should know uh, the culture and the language, mainly English of New Zealand. You can see the houses here are more than one story type. See the one story type. Now in some parts of New Zealand, there are some houses called the matchbox houses. These are probably the very small ones. This one definitely has more than one room. And there's a driveway. The whole place is really very clean. This is the garbage bins lining up the road waiting for the garbage truck to come to pick them up. You see the piece of land is big compared to Singapore. Some are smaller. It's a letter box. I'm walking further down and just to explore the neighborhood on this bright, hot, sunny morning. Now, you, ha you can have a glimpse of the houses in this area. Some have longer driveways and uh, the trees in autumn, some sparrows around. The garden usually is quite big as you can see. There's a trampoline for the kids to jump up and down without falling out of the net for safety reasons. Now Indian restaurants I noticed there are quite a few in the towns in New Zealand. The liquor centre is a change, I would say. There you are. This is a small 
more. I would say this is a bakery as well. The dairy is open seven days. A small commercial retail center, Indian restaurant. Sometimes you have Cambodian restaurant and the bakeries. Now many of these bakeries I noticed in a small town are operated by Cambodians. So this one I wouldn't know. But it looks like a modern signboard there. Now, how do I know they are Cambodians? Because they do put up pictures, photos of Cambodia and Wat. Or for the Thai ones, they put photos of the Thai king. It could be the old king. And uh, as you can see, this is a beautiful residential area. Peaceful. You can hear the birds or the insects tweeting. Skies are blue, clouds are white, autumn, March 212019. New Zealand. Probably this area is called Woodstock. In New Zealand, you need a car, you need to know how to drive. If not, then you may as well stay at home. See such a beautiful, even it might be a football field. The school. So it is uh, the way of life here, quiet. It's been quite boring. But it's more for families. Bring up a family. And uh, that's how life is. That's how life passes by in New Zealand. There's no uh, stress of city living. I mean in this area. And when the children grow up after 18, they tend to say bye bye to their aged parents. They feel ashamed of being near their parents and uh, they will go out and look for their own accommodation. As this is the culture of the Western culture. And uh, I believe it is the same in New Zealand for the new generation of the migrants. I shall stop now. This is March 21, 201 Michael School. Wood, wood uh, stop near to Pakarunga, Pakuranga Road. Oh, I did spot a bird here. You can see some sparrows. Sparrows appear fatter in New Zealand too. You see, they look fatter than the Singapore sparrows. In okay, fact, it's surprising they're here. I shall stop now. March 21 to 019, New Zealand suburbs, Eastern Auckland, a Chinese migrant community.